that light. Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. It's very nice evening. Monday night evening here. Slept most of the afternoon. I was just tired. Doing a lot. So now I feel like doing one of the paper towel Fiona flowers. And I will put Fiona's link in my description. I'm sure everybody that watches me knows Fiona, but I'll still put it in there. She's a sweetheart. Real good friend of mine now. So, okay. Now, this time with the paper towel, I've been messing up a lot. Two times now. And I was supposed to have that base coat a little more thicker and my paint a little thicker. So, Let's hope it works. Okay. What I'm going to do is some crazy stuff. And I don't know if this is going to work. So I can't even get it to squirt straight. Well, that's okay. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> <laughs> that is Master's Touch um, Brown Red. Okay. This is Metallic Espresso Craftsmart and Bronze Mixed. Um, Artist Loft Bronze. <laughs> I'm just trying something, guys. I've tried other dots and... <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going with this Master's Touch Gold. Okay. <laughs> then I am going with a little tiny bit. You know what? I'll stay away from the Payne's Gray this time. Yeah, I'm going to stay away with that one. Okay. Then I have this is Anita. Rose gold. Look, this is the rose gold Anita brand. Let's see if I can get something to squirt from here. I have missed that one. It's, um, it kind of has a purpley look. Hmm. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> now let's see what else some more of the uh, copper whoops oh Uh, lost where I'm at here. Well, it's okay. <laughs> uh. 
I don't know how she does it, but she does. <laughs> okay, now a little metallic white in some areas. I don't think that's going to make a difference, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Maybe I will do the paints gray. I'll do a little dot in between here. Just for some contrast. <laughs> I need more gold or anything on the sides, maybe? Yeah. A little bit more here. could do so much you know you really could this I'm just not real good at designing these obviously <laughs> all right paper towel let's see what it does I think it's got enough copper and I kind of think it needs a little more copper whoops I ripped that one might add a little more copper Don't fit it completely either. There we go. Just a little more in some areas right here. Oh. Really like this color in there. Well, let's go for it. <laughs> I'll go spray my paper towel, but not a whole lot. She really don't do a whole lot. <laughs> that might be my problem each time. I don't know. We'll see. And I usually have to touch up my sides a little. That one worked out pretty good. Up. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so I made my paint a little thicker, the base. Because I overheard her telling somebody she does a little thicker paint. And then I made just a little bit thicker on the colors. Well, not all of them, because some were pre-mixed. <laughs> it's fun though. But yeah, I would know. Watch her and she pats them for a long time, pushes on them, gets in every little spot. But I can't. I was trying some of her methods the other day, just doing the little small little flower prints you know how she dabs in negative spots little tiny pretty precious petite little flowers and then I was doing the balloon roll I actually got a hold of that one and then a flower where you go with the paper towel and then you go 
and it leaves a stem. I did one of them. I just practiced. Made a mess, but practiced. Here goes. Hey, that one's not too bad. That's pretty. It's not too bad. It's got petals, at least. <laughs> And it's got pretty. And it's a little black right there. That's cool. Right on. Yeah, so like what I was talking about is she'll take like her paper towel after she pulls it up. Then she'll go on the sides and make little tiny petal marks. I know you've seen that. It's pretty though. I like this one. It worked. This one gold one looks a little funny, but that's okay. I always make that short too. You know, shorten it up a little. Drag it inward. And lay some paint down there. It's just a little bit too much there, I thought. Got so much paint down here. I'll just take a little bit of that. There we go. Right on. I love it. I love this one. It don't look all uh, like that one did. It's kind of psychedelic. -y. Right on. So some of my sides are bare, so I'll touch those up too. That's easy stuff. Ooh, look at it sell up. Okay, that worked out. So, I'm gonna take my finger right in the middle a little. Go straight up. Mm. I guess that's okay. paint in there. One more time. There. Alright guys, I did it. So you can see some of these bare spots here at the end. I definitely can touch that up easy. Just pour a little paint there. White paint like I did in this spot. So it's prettier than my last one. I'm happy with this one. I wouldn't be putting it on YouTube if I didn't. <laughs> if I wasn't. Uh, I'll do some things when I'm not too crazy about them. I still put them on. I say, oh, well. This one, I like. I mean, it's not like hers. But it's pretty. It's mine. <laughs> That's what it is. I am happy with it. It's beautiful. Nice, beautiful gold showed up. The copper, I'm glad I put more of that red brown. Master's Touch. It looks just like, um, what you call it? Copper. And then look at the black right in the middle. That kind of really neat. Gives a little depth in there. That's awesome. So that's cool. That's a pretty one. Ooh, I'm going to go put that one in my drying rack real quick. Last night when I was doing one, one of those big mosquitoes that are coming out like crazy here in Arizona. And it landed right on my painting. He was flying around me and I knew he was. Sure enough, blop. He didn't ruin it though because I pulled him out real quick. This is so pretty. I love it so much. I really do. 
that's going to match my house because I have those earth tone colors. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you like it, guys. Let me know what you think. This one looks a little dark big there, but that gives it character. I'm leaving that alone. Okay. So, very, very pretty with that gold. Kiss stuff looking at it in the camera. Oh, man, that's pretty to me. I love the size of it, too. How it some areas are not perfect, but it did work out good. All right, so yeah, I'll leave that alone. I could detail that a little. Mm, kind of pull some up, but it's kind of neat how it looks that way. I don't know, I might, you'll see it changed in the picture if I do dab up, because I might just kind of dab up a little bit in here. Kind of pull it inward a little. Just, you know, make it not so noticeable. Just keep dabbing it and it'll lift it right up. Don't want it so wide, that's all. Just a little bit thinner. So, yeah, obviously I'm going to mess with it. So might as well finish those gonna go and then here I am again. It was pretty neat though. Just pull it in just a tad bit. So it kind of fits the painting. There. There, so now it kind of goes with the other ones. Not too bad. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Now you're probably going, what did she do that for? That was pretty. No, I had to get that on. It's just a little too big. All right. Take it easy, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a good week. Bye-bye now.